Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. To have your product reviewed, visit bit.ly slash review my product. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Ghazim from DragonBlogger.com and today I'm going to show you how to connect your Gatchek 1503H portable on-lap monitor to a TV box, PC, laptop, console, Raspberry Pi or other stuff. So first of all, let's have a look at what stuff we're going to need for this. Now there's two ways you can approach this. One is via the proprietary cable that's sold separately for the monitor or via the cable that came with the monitor. So here we have the Gatchek proprietary cable sold separately. Then we have the USB power cable and the micro HDMI to HDMI cable. Then of course you're going to need the monitor. And for connectivity purpose, we're going to use the Probox 2 Air TV box. The straps are pretty simple and you can connect almost anything with the monitor as long as it has a HDMI port. So for the first step, what you're going to need to do is, you're going to take the HDMI to mini HDMI cable and plug the mini HDMI in into the HDMI port on the monitor, that's the top port. Next, take the USB cable, one end should be Type-C connector and you're going to insert that into the power port on the monitor, that's the one about the 3.5mm audio port, we'll need these two ports in a while. Now go ahead and insert the HDMI cable into your HDMI in port on the TV box. This is the only thing where the main difference lies. You can use anything other than the TV box like a laptop, PC, PlayStation, Raspberry Pi or anything that has a HDMI in port. As far as this setup is concerned, it is ready. Now we only need to power the monitor. You can power up the monitor by using the USB port on the TV box, but that's going to take away the only two USB ports on the TV box. So we are going to use the TronSmart 5 Smart Port USB charger. Just plug in the USB Type-A ports here and you should be good for the monitor power. Now go ahead and install the power cable for the TV box, plug it in into a wall, plug the TronSmart charger into a wall and you are all set up to use the TV box with the Gatchek 1503H. Now let's check out how to do this with the proprietary cable. So you are going to need to remove this cover and insert the proprietary cable like so that the cable are facing inwards. Now go ahead and install the two screws and tighten them up. Once that's done, go ahead and install the USB ends from this cable into any charging adapter that can give up to 5V2 amps. I'm using the TronSmart USB charger for this. Next, plug in the HDMI port coming out of the proprietary cable into the HDMI input of the TV box. Connect both the charging adapter and the TV box to a wall and you're good. Now you can use the monitor with the TV box like any other screen. Well, watch a tutorial without a live demonstration, right? So let's check out the monitor in action. So right now, we're in my room. I've got my primary monitor connected to my system. There's what my system looks like currently. It's all a mess right now. Anyways, I've got the Gatchik monitor placed over a box to give it some height. So here's the USB end on the proprietary cable. That's what we're going to use right now. And here's the HDMI cable coming from behind my chassis. So let's go ahead and get this working. Grab the USB end and plug it into your motherboard or charging adapters. I'm using my motherboard as there's a plethora of USB option on my board. And here it goes. It's alive. So it says no signal auto search. That's because we still haven't hooked up the monitor to my PC yet. So now I'm going to plug in the HDMI cable into the HDMI port on my graphics card. Do note that there's another monitor currently connected to my system. And here it goes. We now have the display on both screens. The screens are being used as an extension by default, but you can either mirror the display or change the order of the screen as you see fit. So yeah, that's basically how you connect the Gatchek 15OH monitor to any device that uses HDMI port. So if you've got any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. I'm with Kazim out.